gang violence and other kind of violence. What's good cyberspace? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get into the video. In the last 25 minutes, CBS 46 got this mugshot of a man accused of stabbing a Fulton County deputy in the neck. This is Richard Parham. Now questions surround how Parham somehow managed to get his hands on a weapon in jail and stab that Fulton County deputy. That wow, so, whew, this man done stabbed the Fulton County deputy in jail. And we know that knife work, that knife game in these prisons or jails are crazy, okay? Um, they're used to putting in work. That's kind of the trademark of the jails <clears throat> because you don't have um, guns. And it's, it's, it's really sad because a lot of people get shivved up. But you have this deputy being stabbed by this super gremlin on demon time and you know they, they they're mocked in the media they're told that they that they don't do anything to protect the community or the community as a matter of fact they're told that they're out here hunting and murdering individuals of the community but um it looks like it's the other way around that deputy is now recovering but police say the fact is the incident should have never ever happened. CBS 46 is Crystal Bowie live outside of Grady Hospital in Atlanta where that deputy is being treated. Crystal, how is he? He's doing a lot better, Sean, and we are told he is actually still inside the hospital recovering alongside his friends, family and co-workers that are there to support him. The sheriff's office says the deputy is in good spirits today. They also tell us that they are still investigating what may have happened, but they do believe this is incredible that the deputy likely will not need surgery, even despite being stabbed multiple times. Mm. It's still up. And that's, that's a strong guy right there, man. He doesn't need surgery. Stabbed multiple times, strong dude. Unclear how an inmate was able to sneak a knife into the Fulton County Jail after being arrested late Sunday night. We have uh, a lot of video footage to go through and a lot more investigating to do. Sheriff Pat Labonte said the prisoner was initially arrested on charges of terroristic threats and acts, willful obstruction of law enforcement officers, and simple battery, which is a misdemeanor. The sheriff tells us his office is working with Atlanta police to figure this out, as APD was the arresting agency on the case. Sent additional investigators to make sure that we, what steps were missed, we can fix, and if there are no steps that were missed, it is certainly unfortunate. Tonight, they attribute some of the issues to systematic problems at the Fulton County Jail. We've talked about that for months, right? Everything from the jail being overcrowded to really making sure we retain and, and recruit good women and men to, to join our law enforcement community. But, put, but to that end, it is one of those things that we just have to make sure our steps are followed and we'll continue to, to tighten that up. Well, the Fulton County Sheriff also tells us a suspect will face additional charges. Meanwhile, their department has not released the name of the deputy, but we will let you know when he has been released from the hospital. Reporting live from Atlanta, Crystal Bowie, CBS 46 News. Week one. Police are looking for Gwinnett County police are looking for a killer after a man was found stabbed to death in the front yard. Channel Damn, I mean, these super gremlins going on a stabbing spree. Sheesh. These super stabbing gremlins are on demon time. News Brian Mims is live in Sewanee, and Brian police say they do not have any suspects yet. Police say they don't have a suspect, nor do they have a reason why this man was killed. In the last 15 minutes or so, police came to remove the yellow tape that was surrounding this on Ridge Oak Drive. It came in as a medical call. Now uneasy neighbors are longing to get some answers. A neighbor called 911 just before 10 in the morning. A man was lying in the front yard of the house across the street. When Gwinnett County police arrived, they found a man in his 40s dead from at least one stab wound. Police say they have no motive for the killing and no suspects. They spent the day canvassing the Peachtree Horizon neighborhood. 
Uh, so that's naturally what they're going to do. Canvas, talk to neighbors, look for possible, you know, video footage or anything that they can use to solve this crime. Wow, man. No suspects yet. Neighbor John Vildron says a couple and their son lived in this house. And they're a very quiet couple. And uh, the son would always come outside and just stand. He says the family lived here for about a year. I knew of one son, and that's the son that's deceased. At one point, a couple arrived at the home. The woman was in tears. Neighbors told us they never noticed anything suspicious going on at the house. For this to happen, uh, it's a sign of the times. Woo, you heard what he said. It's a sign of the times. We all know what that means. It's the sign of demon time. Um, I'm not surprised. Still, neighbors say a tragic crime like this has never happened in this community. It's very quiet, peaceful. Uh, never usually have any problems. And this is a very uh, nice na neighborhood, nice area. And my daughter and I live together, and this is quite alarming, you know? You don't feel safe anymore. Police have not yet released the man's name. They are seeking any information they can get from witnesses, from neighbors. They have a lot of unanswered questions. If you have any information about this case, you are urged to call the Gwinnett County Police Department. Reporting live in Swanee, Brian Mims, Channel 2, Action. Gwinnett County Police's homicide unit is now investigating after a man's body was found on the front yard of a home in Suwanee. And he levitalized Joe Hankey's in Suwanee tonight, where police and neighbors are both looking for answers. I talked with several neighbors who tell me overnight and early this morning they did not notice or hear anything out of the ordinary, but a little bit after 10 a.m. is when they noticed several police cars surrounding the home behind me. Investigators with the Gwinnett County Police Department spent the afternoon going in and out of this home on Ridge Oak Drive mm. after someone reported finding the body of a man in the front yard around 10 this morning. According to Gwinnett County Police, the man in his 40s was dead when officers arrived from what appeared to be a stab wound. Wow. How the man ended up in the yard is still unknown. And we don't have a motive. Uh, this, we're still in the preliminary stages of the investigation. As you can see, the crime scene or CSI is still on scene. Gwinnett County Police Corporal William Wolf says detectives spent the afternoon securing search warrants to search the home where the body was found, collecting evidence, trying to talk with relatives of the victim, and searching the neighborhood for any security camera footage. There's security cameras on these houses aimed right at that. Woo! So they're going to find them. It's only a matter of time. Uh, I mean, even in the, you see this uh, sign right here that says you're being surveilled. And these super gremlins, they just don't learn. And it's really making, it's making the community look really bad when we have these people out here just randomly stabbing gliders in their neighborhoods. I mean, there's this mantra that they're out here hunting us and we can't go nowhere when we're bringing it straight to their doorstep. So it's probably on camera if the camera was working. Neighbors are hopeful police will find the clues to quickly solve this mystery. Multiple neighbors said the victim is one of several adults who lived at the home. One neighbor recalled seeing the victim looking nervous or anxious recently while vaping next to the home. Mm. You know, like if someone had an argument or a fight, they kind of go and you know, blow off steam, smoke a cigarette or something like that. And look, hopefully this ain't coming out of the community. I'm going to keep tabs on it. Hopefully this ain't us, okay? But, it, you know, it sounds random. It sounds definitely within the scope of the things that we talk about here. And I, I just hope I'm wrong like that so that's what it looked like and Gwinnett County Police tell me this investigation is still in the very early stages so far they have not named any suspects or made any arrests reporting in Swanee tonight I'm Joe Hankey 11 Alive News I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place and as you can see it's a pretty rough area so I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness so make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. 
I'm Jenquavius Jackson here live reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. When at county police are trying to find the person who stabbed a man to death near Suwannee. That's where we start tonight on Fox 5 News at 6. I'm Courtney Bryant. Hello and welcome. I'm Tom Haynes. Officers found the body of the victim in a front yard. Fox 5's Alex Whitler has the latest. Yeah, good evening to you, Tom. We've seen plenty of people driving in and out of the neighborhood with confused people. They're confused looks on their faces because they saw yellow caution tape at the home behind me not too long ago. Now that caution mm. tape is gone as our police, but there's very limited details out there. The only thing many people know is that the killer is not in custody. Damn. It seems like it, there were like flies on him and he wasn't moving at all. Wow. A bizarre way to That man was collecting flies at that point. And you heard the brother there, obviously he's an immigrant. <clears throat> he's in the neighborhood. He sees what's going on. And he's confused too, like what the heck who let these who let these super gremlins in the neighborhood? <laughs> you know, it 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 there are people who work hard to get in the positions that they are and they don't want to see the neighborhood go to hell in a hand basket because of these super gremlins on demon time start labor day did it feel out of the norm until i walked out and saw the cops i uh, was on my way out uh, to the market and then noticed he was laying on the ground and um I noticed that it didn't look normal, so I dialed 911. Gwinnett County Police say they received a call Monday for a person down at this home on Ridge Oak Drive. When they arrived, they say they found that man dead. His body was outside of the home, but they say it's not even clear if he lived here. I know the victim did live here in Swanee. I think we're trying to nail down all the facts at this time and confirm exactly which residence. For hours, Gwinnett County investigators scoured the area for clues and interviewed neighbors, trying to get a sense of what happened and why. Neighbors huddled across the street in shock, asking each other what could have gone wrong. They are very quiet. You wouldn't even notice they're here. I hope like, you know, like it wasn't anything random like that. I mean, obviously it sucks either way because somebody died, but hopefully it wasn't just some random, like somebody just coming in somebody's neighborhood and killing people because I do live here. Now I did just dang. So she asking for a motive. She want a motive to be behind this. Speak to the victim's sister. She's just now giving us this man's name and a photo of him. This is Matthew Jones. Mm. We're working to get some more information about him. Of course, we've been keeping our distance out of respect to this family, but they wanted to share this picture so that we could start to memorialize him. Of course, Gwinnett County Police are asking for anyone's help. If you know anything about who might have done this to Mr. Jones you're encouraged to give them a call. Reporting in Gwinnett County, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News. So gang violence and other kind of violence. So it is what it is.